Hello children, welcome to Tejas Education. We have to work hard to achieve success. This video is regarding Manufacturing Industries, Chapter 6 Geography, Class 10 CBSE Board. We are going to learn about industry. What is an industry? Industry is a group of manufacturers who produce a particular kind of service or products. Product in the sense shoe. Shoe is produced in shoe industry. Services. Banking sector provides us with banking service. Now we are going to learn about various industries. First one is large scale industry. This industry requires huge capital investment, large area of land, a lot of people are employed in huge number and vast quantity of power is consumed. So capital investment is money. Land is also required. A lot of people are hired. And we need a lot of power. Power in the mean electricity. So in, imagine a shoe factory. There will be people who will be operating the machine. There should be electricity to run the machine. And then the end product, there will be people who will be wrapping it in a cardboard box. And then the, with the help of transport, it will be distributed in towns and cities. So it is in a large scale. Now let's go to the examples of large scale industry. Tea industry, India is the largest producer and consumer of tea. Jute industry, it is one of the most important traditional industries in India. The first industry in India. Cement industry, the systematic manufacturing of cement started in 1914, even though it was started in Tamil Nadu in 1904. So these are the various examples. If you can remember few, it will be well. Apart from that, there is sugar industry, paper industry, engineering industry, food processing industry, IT and electronic and software industry. These 8th and 9th are the latest industries which are quite successful. Now we go to small scale industry. This industry is labor intensive. Here also people are higher but lesser than the last scale. But less capital investment is required. Money involvement is less, lesser than the last scale. The Employment of people is also on a smaller scale. Manufacturing is also on a small scale. It is located in industrial areas and its products are sold in wider areas than the cottage industry. So another industry we are going to learn. Okay, what is that industry? Let's see. So this is clear. Less amount of people are hired, less money is involved and the manufacturing products, the amount of products manufactured is less and People employed are also obviously less and it is located in industrial area and the products are sold in wider area than the cottage industry. So let's learn what is cottage industry. Before that, some example of small scale chocolate making, paper napkin, facial tissues and sanitary napkins, toilet tissues, wooden toothpicks, phenyl. These are all example of small scale industry. Cottage industry or household industry. It is an industry which is established by one or more members of the household. So here no labor is involved. Means we don't hire people here. Household members are working at home or within village. In rural area, it will be within the village or at home. Like a potter. Potter means the person who makes diyas. Yeah. So he will sell the diyas from home. He will make pots and also he sells it from home. Household industries will be within a particular building in city. In city, it will be in a particular building. It will not be as big as a large scale or a small scale. It is a part-time or a full-time occupation. They don't have hired laborers. Their products are brought by local people. So within the village, it will be sold. They don't have a very well-established transport system. Example of cottage industry are agarbatti making, incense stick, biscuits, candles, sweets, diyas, small small toys. Now we go into the chapter manufacturing. So the questions which are discussed here are very important in board exam point of view. Try to learn, practice by writing and by heart it if you can or just write and learn whichever is easy for you but it, you should be able to retain it. Production of goods in large quantities after processing from raw materials to more valuable products is called manufacturing. 
So let's understand. Production of goods in large quantities after processing from raw material. Imagine we have a farmer has a farm of sugar cane. Okay, and he has big fields of sugar cane. He will sell the sugar cane which is bought by the industry owner. There the sugar cane is processed with the help of machine and a lot of people are there hired to operate the machine. At the end they get it processed into sugar. So production of goods in large quantities after processing from raw material. Here what is a raw material? Here sugar cane is a raw material. The more valuable product and valuable product is sugar is called manufacture. It's easy, right? Another example, paper is manufactured from wood. Sugar is manufactured from sugar cane. We already discussed. So children, please learn this question. It's very important. It was asked in past papers, sample papers. Okay. And always read NCRT textbook word by word. Don't skip. Don't skip. Just read thoroughly and make your own notes whenever, wherever it's possible. Now, we should know what is a primary sector, secondary sector, tertiary sector. We have learned this in economics. So, primary sector, agriculture, fisheries, mining. Secondary sector is manufacturing industries, trade, commerce. And last one, all type of services, animal, banking, everything. Now, this is just a small revision. Right? We know what it is. Your main focus is on manufacturing industry. So let us go to this. What is written? Secondary sector transforms the primary sector product. What is this primary sector product? They are the raw material for the interest. Obviously, secondary sector means the industry transforms the primary sector products into useful products. Now, how is this happening? That's what we are going to learn. People employed in the secondary activities manufacture the primary sector materials into finished goods. So the hired people in the factories, they are converting it into a useful product. That's what they're saying. People employed in the secondary activities, secondary activities, industry, manufacture the primary sector materials into finished goods. So sugarcane is getting converted into sugar inside the factory with the help of people employed. Example, the workers employed in steel factories, car industries all fall into this category. Okay, children. How is the economic strength of a country measured? It is measured by the development of manufacturing industry. This is another important question. What is the importance of manufacturing? There is a topic in the lesson. Why the economic strength of a country is measured by the development of manufacturing industries? Give example. So a country's economic strength is measured by the development of the industry, manufacturing industry, importance of manufacturing industry. So let's do it. Before that, how to answer a five marks question? You can write, you can write introduction and underline, then write two lines. A small short crisp introduction then explanation part write explanation write the point one two three four five conclusion underline one or two lines or you can just write three paragraphs either way you can but there should be clear three paragraphs you don't need to write a big paragraph for introduction only two lines and ending also two but the points for five marks five points should be clearly marked one two three four five so the answer for the question, economics, how the economic strength of the country is measured by the development of manufacturing industry. So I wrote one line, the manufacturing sector is considered the backbone of a development. It is exactly from the textbook. First point, manufacturing industry not only help in modernizing agriculture, they also reduce the heavy dependence of people on agriculture income by providing them job in secondary and tertiary sector. So some seasons they don't have work farmers, so they can easily get job in secondary and tertiary sector. Industrial development is a precondition for eradication of unemployment poverty from our country. So more industries are set up, more people will be employed. So this will help us to overcome unemployment and poverty. 
It is also aimed to bring down the regional disparities by establishing industry in tribal and backward area. So in a particular area, if the tribal and the backward area means those who are not getting all the facilities of the government, like government jobs, etc. There, if such industries are established on that area, these people also will be employed. Their life will also improve. So this will bring down the regional disparities. Export of manufactured goods expands trade and commerce. Obviously, this will bring more revenue to the country. Countries that transform their raw materials into a wide variety of finished goods of higher value are prosperous. So there should be a standard. There should be quality benchmark. India's prosperity lies in increasing and diversifying its manufacturing industry. So more and more varied products has to be produced by Indian industries. We should be on par with other countries. Thus, manufacturing industry brings in infrastructural development. So, economic strength of a country is measured by the development of manufacturing industry. This is how I concluded, but you can write in your own words. But write two sentences as conclusion and two sentences as introduction. And mark the points as five or five marks. I have done it. You can done it, do it in your own way also. Next important question, it is from the first page, last paragraph. Agriculture and industry are not exclusive of each other. Explain with example. They are very much important. They cannot be separated. That's what we are trying to say here. They move hand in hand. Everything is from the textbook children. Again, I'm saying, for example, the agro industries in India have given a major boost to agriculture by raising its productivity. So the agricultural industry have given in because India is economy, India's economy is depending mainly on agriculture. We know that. So agro industries, the industries in the agriculture sector is giving more and more boost to agriculture by raising its productivity, increase in production. They depend on the latter. Latter is the word which comes in the second part of the sentence. So here, what is the latter? First is agro industry. Latter is agriculture. So they depend on the latter means they depend on the agriculture for raw materials that we learn. Sugar cane is a raw material from which sugar is produced and sell their products such as irrigation pump, fertilizers, PVC pipes, etc. to the farmers. The competitiveness and development of manufacturing industry has not only assisted agriculturists in increasing their production but also made the production process very efficient because the machines are helping to produce more products and time consumed is very less. So it is increasing the production. So the production is very efficient. Now the process is very efficient. So please learn this question along with the answer. Read the lesson. In the present day world of globalization, our industry needs to be more efficient and competent. Explain. It is in the second page, 66 page top paragraph on the left side. How will we explain? Self-sufficiency alone is not enough. Our manufactured goods must be at par in quality with those in the international market. Then only people will buy. There should be quality. There should be standard. Only then we will be able to compete in international market. Okay, hope this is understood. We are self-sufficient is very good. Like India is a top producer of tea. If you don't sell, how we will make revenue? Why people are buying? Now India's tea is in much de high demand in the whole world. Why? Because we have set a benchmark in the industry. We have set a quality. Our standard of the product is very high. Assam tea, right? It's very famous. So children, it is, uh, this is a video on few topics. So this next video will be from page 66. The topic is going to be contribution of industry to national economy. Thanks for watching. All the best. Study well for the upcoming board exam. Thanks for watching again. Tejas Education.